Mrs. Barber is out sick today. Oh, uh, are we still going to be doing our uh, research project slash book reports? Oh, research project slash uh, Yeah, Ms. Kippel, uh, Ms. Barber says that in order to understand a book, you have to read it as it was written. So, for example, I read The Sun Also Rises uh, by Ernest Hemingway, and I did some research on Hemingway's life, and I learned that he always wrote while wearing a vest, and so that is why I am wearing this vest today. Okay, well, why don't you just do your presentation for us now? Okay. Uh, well, I am Chris Tipton, and I read The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. The Sun Also Rises is a classic tale <laughs> of love and longing. Excuse me, Chris Tipton. Oh, yeah. You see, uh, I did more research on Hemingway, and I learned that before he would speak publicly, he would take a nip of rum from a flask of courage. Uh, in high school. Well, it doesn't mean I don't need courage. If anything means I need more courage. No, 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 no. You can't drink in high school. Miss Barber said we had to stay very faithful to the author. She's <laughs> right, and besides, it's only a nip. It's a wee nip. Did the Sun Also Rises is a classic tale of love and longing. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said only a wee nip before he started. Well, yeah, you gotta start slow. Okay, you know what? Let's move on. Um, next? Yes. Yes, you. Uh, Jimmy Weatherby. Yes, Jimmy Weatherby. Yes, of course. Um, I read uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Beautiful and the Damned. Um, biographers say that The Beautiful and the Damned was based strongly on Fitzgerald's marriage to Zelda, uh, who was actually institutionalized several times. Now, uh, to research my project, I dated Cindy over there for the past few weeks, uh, who's a crazy bitch. Cindy, <laughs> <laughs> what are the best? No, he's right. She's fucked up. <laughs> Oh, I didn't do the project. <laughs> 